Hey boys and girls, here we are on day four here in Austin, Texas. We're in front of the Tesla Gigafactory. Uh, yesterday I got a chance to talk with Lars, Franz, Drew, Pete, David, and this has all been set up by Rich Otto. So I'd like to thank everybody for giving, me, giving us the opportunity to uh, basically have a look at everything that you saw in the last video. This is going to be our ride and drive. We're gonna try and uh, make it work. This is a not quite ready for prime time vehicle, so not everything is working, uh, but uh, it's still got more than enough to uh, have a good time with. And because we're on a street, I keep looking over my shoulder so we don't get run over. But anyways, let's go and uh, have a ride in the Cybertruck. Okay, so uh, here I am on the si in the Cybertruck with everybody. We're um, kind of uh, moving out. Over here to my left, you can see the Cyber Factory. And we're, uh, we're headed, uh, basically we're gonna, I don't like that, I can't see out of that rear view mirror anymore. But I turn this on, and now I can see perfectly well. So anyway, let's just have a look at the inside here. You can see the screen is similar to some of the other Tesla screens. Um, the rear view uh, uh, mirror is missing. Um, you've got a camera and um, I wiped it off, but um, it's uh, kind of foggy, miserable, mud uh, all over the place. So that's kind of like uh, the deal over there. If we turn on the turn signals, so uh, I'm gonna turn this one on and you can see that um, my view is perfect out of the camera, but, uh, but not so good out of the, out of the uh, wing mirror here. This handles like a dream. Um, and it is not on self-driving. Uh, I'm doing my own driving and um, as you can see it holds steady obviously and that's because I don't have um, a direct feedback from the uh, from the rack what would normally be the rack. Now you got an electric motor but at the end of the day um, it handles really well. I almost never have to do much in the way of turning. Uh, even in the parking lot was just a dream Holy man, this is a big boat, and um, and having it swing around as easily as it did um, actually caught me uh, basically unawares. I almost uh, thought I was going to bang into something. So the first couple of seconds there, you've got to get used to the fact that this is uh, got a really tight uh, turning radius, which I think is going to help out in parking lots. This has got more visibility than any car I've ever... Actually, the only other one that even came close is a minivan. I cannot believe the visibility in this vehicle. It's like, um, I don't know, it's huge. There's, there, I don't have really much of any blind spots from at least forward facing or sideways. So anyway, here we are at the frunk and um, uh, it's not as big as what um, let's say the uh, other Teslas have, and it's not as big, excuse me, as the F-150, but I know that I can, if I'm um, a hunter, this is a good place for guns. Um, there was one other thing that they showed me that um, I'll try and make happen. Uh, last time it took three of us to get it off, but anyway, this is where the, um, <coughs> I'm gonna do it this way. This is where, this is kind of convenient because this is where your HEPA filter is for cleaning the air inside the, uh, inside the uh, car. I kind of like this idea. Um, if you have kids that have got breathing problems and stuff like that, like I did when I was, my son was young, this is kind of a handy thing to have happen. Everything's back to where it was. So um, that's kind of like easy peasy. Let's have a look at the, um, let's have a look at, uh, go, oh, and here's the other thing. Here's your windshield washer fluid. And we may have to fill that up because I think they gave it to us empty and we've been using a lot of washer fluid. Apparently, normally, it doesn't rain here in Texas, but being as I'm here, you know. <clears throat> so let's go over here. I know that there's um, whoops, extra room here. Again, um, 
You can use this for, uh, you could use this for maybe, oh, actually you can use it for, is, um, is an ice chest. So they've got a, a, a cool little hidden feature here, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so um, I, I made, uh, I criticized the, um, the Model Y and the Model 3 because they didn't have, uh, they didn't have a drain in it, <clears throat> and Ford did. So uh, they put their own little drain in, and you can see it's got a symbol of the Cybertruck on it, and pretty much that's it. As far as symbols and whatnot, this is the only thing that's, uh, that's got a, uh, like a marking that says this is from a Cybertruck. So anyway, this is your uh, door handle, okay? So it's like the, uh, like the Ford. I, I really like the Ford because there's no door handles, which means that I've got, I, I don't have resistance. And anytime I can get the uh, coefficient of drag down, it's going to be better for my mileage. Um, if you want to have a look in the front seat, um, it's very clean and very clear. And I mean, the only things that you've got are the things that are functionally necessary. So if we look at the rear seats, again, uh, no door handle. And, um, and uh, when Grace is in here, she can stick her feet straight out and, and, uh, and touch the back seat. It's like amazing amount of room. And one of the things that I've been critical about uh, Tesla vehicles is headroom in the back seat, not here. These seats are really quite comfortable and, um, and there's plenty of room for, uh, for even the tallest people uh, coming into this thing. Now, we were gonna go and do something on panels and gaps. This is an off-road vehicle. So a lot of people said, well, wait a minute, the gaps on my Tesla, or sorry, my uh, Toyota, blah, blah, uh, you know, some sort of a sedan or whatever are tighter. That's true, but that's not what happens when you've got something like an off-road vehicle. So what you look for here is consistency. So that's where my fingers are calibrated. And right now, these gaps are all pretty much the same. And if they're all the same, then it's right. And I mean, even the gaps back here are in good shape. Now, I did see a lot of these other vehicles. We'll go on this side to do the same thing. Uh, it doesn't have a gap. So anyways, at the end of the day, all these gaps are pretty much the same. And if you look from the top to the bottom, they're consistent all the way down. That's a good build. Anybody that knows anything about... You know what's gonna be interesting is when everybody's electric and we'll never hear that big noise out there. I realize that we need it for ambulances and whatnot, but <laughs> really is gonna be a good idea to get rid of the noise. Anyhow, I like this vehicle. I, I've already said that. I was a fan of the style when I first saw it. I, uh, this is my kind of off-roader. I, again, I don't think this is going to be a big competitor to the F-150. I don't think, uh, I think Rivian and Jeep, they're going to have a problem, and certainly the Hummer. But to me, um, to me, this is, uh, this is the perfect truck for, uh, for going hunting, fishing, camping, quadding, motorcycling, uh, whatever. To me, this is what I, uh, this is my opinion, okay, my opinion. Alrighty, so anyways, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. We're gonna have hopefully a little bit more when we go to the, um, the giveaway. Uh, there's eight people, eight lucky folks are gonna get one of these things and we'll be there firmly filming it. Thanks for watching, bye.